Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If your company is a purely service-based organization and you do not handle any sales that would involve inventory tracking, you can create a group of services that will hide the display of any sub-items within a group. This will allow your invoices to display just the total and description for any groups displayed in a printed invoice. The items in the group will still appear individually when viewing the invoice during its creation phase. This action will mimic the use of the group item from QuickBooks Pro for a service-only company. To enable this feature, you must disable Track Quantity on Hand. If you have any inventory that you track with QuickBooks Online Plus, then this is not an option that you would want to disable. Start by clicking the gear icon and selecting Company Settings under the Setting heading. Click the Sales tab and select the Sales Form Content section. From here, uncheck the Service Date checkbox if needed. Click the Save button to save this information. Next, click the Products and Services section. In the Products and Services section, uncheck the Track Quantity and Price or Rate checkbox or ensure that it is unchecked. Also uncheck the Track Quantity on Hand checkbox or ensure that it is unchecked. Again, do not do this if your company needs to keep track of the quantity of inventory you have on hand. Click the Save button to save the changes to this section. Click the Done button on the bottom right hand side of the screen to close the Settings menu. Click the gear icon and select Custom Form Styles from the Settings heading. To create a new form style, you can click the New Style button at the top right hand side of the page. If you would like to edit an existing form, click the Edit link in the Action column of the list. Clicking the New Style button or following the Edit link will take you to the Style tab within the page. This first page allows you to choose a style, logo, and color for your form. The Form Type drop-down list is where you will select the type of form you want to create. Choose Invoice from the drop-down menu. Then select Activity Table from the list of tabs along the left-hand side of this page. In the Columns section, uncheck the Date, Quantity, and Rate checkboxes to remove those items from the invoice. Under the More section, directly below the Columns section, check the Collapse Activity Rows checkbox. When you have completed these changes, click the Save button at the bottom of the page. Note that if you did not name your form on the first page of the menu, a pop-up box will appear asking you to name the form. You can simply enter a name and click Save. Now you will need to create the grouped item. Click the gear icon again and select Products and Services from the Lists heading to open the Products and Services list page. You can click the New button at the top right hand side of the page. This will open the Product or Service Information page where you will create the new grouped item. Enter the same information for the Name and the Description on Sales Form fields. Do not enter a price or rate for this item. Then choose the Save and New command from the Save and Close drop-down button in the lower right corner when you're ready. You will then create each sub-service for the grouped item. When creating each sub-service, check the Is Sub-Product or Service checkbox and select the name of the parent item that you initially created from the drop-down. Enter whatever you would like for the name of the sub-service. However, in the Description on Sales Forms text box, enter the exact same description that you entered into the Description on Sales Forms field for the parent item that you initially created. This is a very important step. The Description on Sales Forms of the parent item and the Description on Sales Forms of the sub-item must be exactly the same. Line items and invoices will only collapse if the description in sales forms and the rate fields for the two items are the same. You already removed the rate field at the beginning of the setup, so it is imperative that the description is the same for all the subservices that you create for this item. Continue this process until you have created all of the subservices that you would like to create for this item. Once you are finished, you are ready to then use this service group in an invoice. To ensure that you are using the correct form when you create a new invoice, click the Customize button at the bottom of the screen and select the invoice style you just created for the service group. 
Select the name of the parent item in the first line of the invoice. Then select the first subservice of the parent item. Now enter the amount to charge the customer for this particular subservice into the amount column for each subservice. Also, ensure that the description shown for each subservice exactly matches the description for the parent item. Once again, repeat the process for the number of subservices you need to add to your invoice. When your entries are complete, you can then click the Print or Preview button and select the Print or Preview command from the listed options. Clicking the Print or Preview button automatically saves the invoice and will open the preview of your invoice. Your invoice should show the single line item name and description along with a grand total. Print the invoice shown and then close the preview window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.